Hello everyone, it's Philly Sports here. Welcome back to a daily video. My name is Ben, and today we're going to be discussing the newest proposal to start the MLB season. I know it's been like, it feels like it's been months, months and months and years and years until we've seen some baseball action, some type of spring training, some type of ball to glove. Um, but this new proposal looks pretty good. I like it from a, van, a fan viewpoint. I think the players kind of like it too. The players union's trying to critique some things. Um, everyone wants baseball. Except for that seven to eight owners who don't. But that doesn't matter because there's 30 teams or something like that. Um, so I'm just going to read off the MLB proposal. Pretty quick video. Uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, um, share this YouTube channel with your friends. Um, great Philly sports content coming from here. Uh, make sure you guys follow my Instagram at Philly Sports Hero. I'll leave that in the description. Almost at 800 followers. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's try to get to 100 subscribers on here. Try to get to 1,000, really. Let's try to get my goal. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's talk about the proposal. So, this is from Ken Rosenthal, one of the best from NF MLB Network, one of the greatest insiders, analysts of baseball. This is what he said on his official Twitter. 60 games in 70 days. That's a lot of games. I think the Players Union is trying to move that up to 65. Um, 60 games in 70 days. That's a lot. That's a lot of games for the players. Um, season will start July 19th, July 20th. Some type of spring training, too, might be involved. I, don't, I didn't see anything on there uh, regarding a, like a second spring training. Um, it might be like a week or two just to try to like put some dirt on the cleats, um, get the rust off, um, just get back out on the field and get back to just baseball things. Um, full prorated salary, you know, that's a big thing with the players. No pay cuts, just their full guaranteed salaries that they gotten. So that's good for the players' union also, because that was that was one of their biggest things is they're not getting their their full salary. Um, so that's awesome for the Players Union. Um, expand the playoffs in 2020 and the 2021. So everybody gets a chance to get into the playoffs because, you know, like if they didn't expand the playoffs, then what about the, the teams that didn't get to play the same amount of games that they would have played? So they're kind of like, here, if you didn't have a good year, Here's another chance to get in. That's pretty much what that is. Um, and number five, probably the most important one, is a waiving of any potential grievance. So if the players union don't like something, then they'll just waive it. So pretty short video. Just wanted to give you guys this in video form. I'll probably post something on Philly Sports Era, maybe. Um, so make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Share it with your friends, um, and stay safe. Go birds, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.